Case for Attorney General. There are new attacks on a prosecutor's record. This time, they're against Democratic challenger Josh Call. Political reporter Jessica Arp takes a look at who's behind those claims in tonight's reality check. The lobbying arm of the state's business group, WMC, launched an ad this week going after the record of attorney Josh Call when he was a federal prosecutor. In Baltimore, Josh Call went easy on dealers trafficking huge amounts of cocaine, heroin, and opioids. One international kingpin facing life only got 10 years. This needs clarification. First, you should know that prosecutors don't sentence offenders. Prosecutors can make recommendations and dismiss charges, possibly reducing penalties, but ultimately the court decides on the sentence. And you should know some background about these. In this case from 2010, Call prosecuted James Bridgeforth, who was accused of smuggling heroin to Maryland from India and the Philippines. Bridgeforth was charged with conspiracy to possess and distribute heroin and cocaine. He pled guilty to the heroin part of that charge, a crime for which he faced a max of life in prison, or a minimum of 10 years. As part of the agreement, Call recommended 10 years, and a judge agreed. And Call went soft on another drug kingpin who trafficked 45,000 doses of opioids. This also needs clarification. This case was about David Graham, a 63-year-old Maryland man who was accused of organizing a drug ring, paying people to get large prescriptions of opioids from doctor's offices, buying the pills, and reselling them to users. He was charged with two counts of conspiracy to possess and distribute multiple drugs. He pleaded guilty to one count, the other was dismissed. Call was part of the team prosecuting Graham. Graham was facing a max of 20 years. It's unclear what prosecutors recommended here, and Call's campaign said he could not comment on sentencing. Graham was sentenced to eight years in prison. For reference, his co-conspirator went to trial and did not take a deal and was sentenced to 10 years. I'm Jessica Arp with this News 3 Reality Check. And if you have an idea for a reality check, send it to us at realitycheck at channel3000.com. The all